the Hitler if you think we're on the run. Ah, Henry, well, here you are. Oh, there's a box of thunder flashes in the back. You can use them to simulate mortar fire. Thank you very much, sir. Jump, weekend, hut! You're pushing your luck a bit there, Corporal. Oh, by the way, there's not much juice in the car. I'll send round four gallons. That should easily see the captain through the exercise. Sure. Is this it? How do you mean, is this it? Well, it's a, it's a bit small, isn't it? I think it looks rather sweet. <laughs> Absolutely first-class vehicle, this. For the kind of cut-and-thrust warfare that we shall be involved in, you know? Nip into the enemy, hit him, nip out again. Oh, hi, and uh, you'd look a right Jesse sitting in anything larger. Smell <laughs> <laughs> me. Is it bulletproof? <laughs> of course it isn't bulletproof. God blimey, is that it, then? <laughs> you don't call that a staff car, do you? We happen to find it very, very charming. I was right. I said you wasn't entitled to a pair of roller skates. They've sent you one. <laughs> get on, come on, Vicar. Oh, get on. Oh. And don't all stand there staring at it. Get these men inside. Give them some rifle cleaning or something. Right, sir. Right, you heard what the captain said. Mr. Menry. Yes? Please, can I be the driver? Don't be absurd, Frank. I've got a provisional licence. You wouldn't even know how to drive it. Well, you could teach me how to drive. Teach me how to drive, Mr. Menry. Please, teach me how to drive. Be quiet, boy. In any case, Sergeant Wilson in charge of driving. Oh. I'm Papa. <laughs> Will you teach me how to drive? Oh, go away, Frank. If you don't teach me how to drive, I'll tell Mum and you won't get your egg for breakfast on Sunday morning. <laughs> now, as umpire, I shall carry my sergeant with me and my corporal and very possibly my runner. Get in the driving seat, Wilson. Yes, sir. <clears throat> you come into the back. Sir. Sure. Sure. Henry. Yeah. Can I be the runner? <laughs> All depends on how you behave. Right, right. Get in there. Thank you very much, sir. All right, thank you, sir. There we are. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, that'll be all right, I think, won't you? Mr. Speaker. Sir. Yes. This is not proper military etiquette. What are you talking about? Well, it doesn't seem to me to be proper military etiquette to have Sergeant Wilson, who is a sergeant, driving me, Corporal Jones, who is a corporal. <laughs> hmm, yes. Well, I suppose it'd be all right if Jones drove. Yes, I think it's an excellent idea, sir. Right, change places. Right, sir. <laughs> I said change places. Well, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to get out, you see, because Sergeant Wilson's seat doesn't move forward. Oh, really Let well. me help you, Mr. Memory. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, all right, now get in the front. Excuse me, sir. Yes. <laughs> get in. <laughs> right, sir. After you, sir. <laughs> oh, uh, I beg your pardon, sir. You see, if you get in first, it means I can't get in. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think we're on the run. Thank you. Very good. You must look at their legs. <laughs> sir, I don't think I'd care to look at a nun's legs. It would be, be very impolite. You just have to force yourself, Godfrey. This is wrong. 